Hey YouTube, it's your girl Stephanie coming to you today with a she in haul. But before we get into that, let's get into our sponsored content. Okay, you guys. So this video is sponsored by Dossier. I'm partially sponsored by Dossier. Um, this month's scent that I'm going to talk about. Oh, I can't get it out the bottle. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't get out the box. Um, this month's scent is Woody Chestnut. Um, so let me tell you about Dossier first. Dossier is a fragrance company where you can get some of your favorite inspired scents for a fraction of the cost of the original scent. Um, this is not necessarily a complete replica. This is something that is very, you know, close to that scent. Um, most of the notes, some of it is spot on, I will say that. Um, but that being said, you pick your scents out, um, they send them to you, um, you get the little tester in each box that looks like this. And this is what you test, you guys. So you want to wear it. Um, I always say test the scent for two or three days. I'm going to learn that from a Sephora person. <laughs> but test the scent on your body for two to three days. Really see how it resonates with your chemistry. And then move on um, to see if you like it or not. And then you can always send the full size back. Now, keep in mind, with the full size, do not open or spray these. Okay? Until you're sure that's what you're going to keep. But if you send it back, no charge you're on to the next scent. Um, but that being said, you get a lot of ounces in these. Like look how big that ball is, um, which is usually about or more. This is 1.7 ounces. This is about the same of a regular um, size fragrance. Um, so this particular scent I wanted to show you guys because we are now moving into fall. This is the Woody Chestnut. Um, of course, this is inspired by Replica Fireplace. I love this scent from Replica, so I was so excited when I got to get this, you guys. Oh my god. So the notes are pink pepper, orange blossom, cloves. The middle notes are chestnut, gaiac wood, I hope I said that right, um, cade wood, and the base notes are vanilla, peru balsam, and cedarwood. Like, God, it smells so good. When I smelled it, I was like, ah! And you know you guys, I don't smell, I don't spray anything on me. I just dropped the little top. But I don't spray anything on me before I do my haul because I don't want it on the items. And a lot of times when I'm trying these items on, it's the first time. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them now. So I don't want to send any company back anything that's not new and in perfect condition. Um, but you guys, I'm telling you, check Dossier out. Um, my link is in the description box per usual. And yeah, let's just get on to the video. Okay, you guys. So, this is a sheet in haul. Uh, it is pretty much mainly swimwear. Did I get a few other things? Yeah, I got like a top and a um, blouse. No, sorry, a blouse and like a dress. I'm going to say that. It's a dress okay but let me show you some of the small stuff before i forget i always tend to forget to show the freaking jewelry and stuff if i buy things like that so let me show you though okay you guys so here's the jewelry that i got i actually got some shoes too i know um so these little reason bracelets i thought they were super cute taking these out for the first time don't know what they feel like oh okay yeah they're like a reason plastic um, I love the colors. Y'all know I love a good beige and pinks and browns. I love neutrals like a duh. Look at my nails. <laughs> but these are really cute. Let's see how they fit on the arm. I'm a plus size girl. I don't have huge hands, but like I, I am digging. They are doing what they are supposed to do. I like. So really cute. Of course, you know, you don't have to wear all of them at one time. But I thought it would be really cute if I got like something that's one-sided and you need something on the arm a little bit extra or whatnot so i think these are cute you guys can see those okay so move on to the next the next are these earrings i just thought they flashed on my page and y'all know most of she in earrings are like super inexpensive and child proof obviously but they're these little gold petaled clustered earrings. I thought they were super cute. Oh, 
Oh, come on, turn around. But I thought they were super cute. Look at those. Make sure you guys can see them. They're just really cute. I just think they're really, I like when you're doing a minimal look with your hair it's up or even like one side like this, you just want a little bit of something glimmering from you. This is really cute. Now I tell you, I gravitate towards studs and all that. I like studs. Um, I like small earrings. However, there are moments when a, like a statement earring is warranted and something in between is warranted. So I thought those were super cute. And um, I got these as well. They are, um, they're not a hoop, but they definitely are a dangle type earring, but something very structured at the same time, which I appreciate. And they, they have a post on them. I'm trying not to ever block the light so you can see them. But I just thought they were really cute. Just another option, like I said, if you want a little bing bang pow on your ear. Um, okay, let's go to the shoes. Okay, the first pair are these chain linked um, patent leather shoes. Um, she in brand. Ah. Pop that to the side. But they are really cute. You don't have to take them out the wrapping. But I just show one. There's no point in bringing both of them. Um, but they are cute. Look at those. They have a patent leather finish, big gold buckle. I was definitely thinking poolside with these. There's a tiny little heel. You know what I mean? Like a little elevation to them. I was just thinking poolside because they're not real leather. They're like a patent leather. Um, durable with the water. I thought that would just be a really cute addition. Next shoe I wanted to talk to you guys about are these. Um, they are good in theory. They're so cute. Little pop of yellow. And I knew there was a risk with these. The heel height's perfect. I will say that. Um, but these little straps, they dig, boo. They dig. So I'm going to have to walk around with them to see if I'm going to keep them or not. But the color is really cute. I was thinking pool side too. You know, trying to give a look by the pool but we'll see how these work okay here's another pair i love the blue it's a three inch heel i believe three inches um really cute that square toe bottega vibe that i love um when i slipped these on i was like mm, i don't know i just think maybe strappy really strappy shoes are just not for me um you know, I'm heady, so I feel like once my body weight sits in here, it's just like, ah, help. <laughs> but really cute shoe nonetheless. Like I said, these are poolside vacation moments. And I always talk about um, there's a time and a place for everything. And I just think these are cute. And even if you had like a nude outfit on, pop it on with that. Like give that little bit of color interest. That'd be dope too because... Oh, good example. Nude blazer dress and a pop. You know what I mean? It's giving vibes. So, yeah. So, those are the shoes I got. Like I said, I'm going to walk around with them in here. I kind of tried them on sitting down real quick. And I was like, okay, they might work. But low key, they are taxi cab shoes. You know, do what you do and take them off. Take them off. Okay, you guys. So, um, with that being said, I have a lot of swimsuits that I will be showing. I'm not gonna go into detail with them and I'll just put notations on the video to show you kind of like <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down kind of deal. Um, you'll know in my vibe whether I'm feeling myself or not. <laughs> um, I just, I don't, I don't know if I just feel like, swimsuits are, they're gonna like limit my monetization with this video anyway because I'm bigger. And I have a lot of body to fit in these swimsuits. So, you know, the more flesh is showing, the less they want to monetize stuff. So, like I said, if you're interested in any of the suits, click the links in my description box. And yes, I do get a tiny, when I say a tiny bit, 
cents on the dollar commission <laughs> from what you buy. It doesn't cost you one red cent. Um, and then when I get into the other items in the haul at the end, I don't know if I'll be talking about them, but I'll kind of show you what they look like then you know so it'll be more of a lookbook style so anyway you guys grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or a cocktail and then just kind of enjoy the little lookbook that's coming um and if you have any questions of course drop them in the description box below. anyway not rambling anymore on to the video I said I was going to do a lookbook, but I'm just going to give brief descriptions, do a 360 and move on. So we're going to keep this really short and simple, okay? Alright, so this is the first three-piece outfit. It is a bikini. Like I said, they probably would demonetize this. So, you know, don't be all suggestive in the comments. Come on, you guys. Let's be, let's be cool with it because we don't want to, you know, make YouTube do a thing. So this is a bikini. It comes with top... A bikini bottom and I do have my underwear on with this because hello YouTube and it has this cover up it's adjustable in front so to me this is not necessarily for somebody who is top heavy um, this is definitely somebody with a smaller chest uh, I don't recommend frogging in the ocean with this because honey you might come out just naked naked so it's a triangle bikini top your boobs have to really sit up for this to be effective um, and right now it is pulling on my neck so I don't suggest for that the cover-up comes with it which is which is great and it is a classic bikini um, it comes right at the top of where your fupa is so if you are flat in this area I think you will feel comfortable but if you are not um, you're gonna have a protruding area because this is not high waisted, okay? This literally covers the fupa and that's it. If you have any side fupa, that's gonna show too. So this is something you have to be extremely comfortable in your body with. This is not a parent children vacation suit. This is a Dominican Republic with your girls like wild and out suit, just to let you know, okay? So here is the front back and you can kind of see the silhouette of the bikini bottom and there you go all right let's move on to the next one okay you guys this is a black snake print one piece um yes your girl is like <laughs> it fits as far as the suit itself like i said i have big boobs so if i could i might do something to make that come in some more but other than that I think it's a really sexy suit um so the strings come here they go crisscross go around your body come back around and land in the middle this is very fupa friendly um I tucked my underwear in as much as I could on this but I like the suit like this is not for your like I said for your parent and children vacation this is for like this is for vacay. This is for hot girl summer. I don't mind it. I'm not gonna turn around in any of these 100%, but it is a full coverage bottom and it does come up on the back. So you don't have any worries for the back side of it. It is just the chest area. And if you have a smaller chest, then you ain't got no worries. This is so cute, y'all. I like it and I love the shininess and the snake print of it all is so cute okay you guys i wanted to show you this cover-up it is a long sleeve cover-up it has elastic right here but it's not tight it has ruching all the way down i just think it's so cute look at the splits you can walk <laughs> but anyway it's a really cute cover-up uh I think it'll really go good under bikinis, over, I'm sorry, under, over bikinis, or any type of swimsuit that you have. Um, it's just really cute. I, and it's funny, the reviews online said it didn't look good on the, some, well, some of, I saw one girl was ranting, and I'm like, this because it didn't look good on you, doesn't mean it'll look good on anybody else. But maybe you have to have an hourglass to look good, and I'm not a complete hourglass. I am just, you know, the more I gain, the more I have more middle weight, but I feel like it's a vibe. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this suit is so cute. Um, first of all, it has sleeves. 
<laughs> I like that. I'm sorry. I like the sleeves. Um, it is a bandeau strapless fit on top. It's a one piece, but you see what I'm saying? It has the bandeau look to it. Um, I tied it up for video's sake when I was doing my fig try on, but you can take this off completely and make it like a bandeau straight with no chaser. Um, that might make it work better for big chested girls like me, but I just like the separation of it all. And I will say, if you don't want to tie it too tight, you can still have a little bit of shape to it and just leave it like that. You can tie a knot, of course, or you can go um, super tight and have that look, which I think I just feel more... I feel more secure this way, but I feel like it's showing more chest area that way. So that's that. Um, I love the sleeves. Um, it's a pretty decent bottom in the back, so it's not showing anything crazy. Um, the only drawback for me is I am very broad and I have back fat and I'm like, do I want to share all of that with the world? <sighs> you know, it's neither here or there, but when, you know, when you're on vacation, vacation, like not caring hot girl summer vacation you probably don't care about all that <laughs> but in the same breath i feel like this is very family vacation appropriate so you should be okay um, i wouldn't suggest hopping up and down doing a baywatch moment in this so that's that um <laughs> moving on to the next okay you guys here's another suit um first and foremost i love this suit i think it's so cute. I think the design is gorgeous. However, it's not for me. Um, because I am so heavy on top and the fabric gets smaller on this side, I can't wear it. My boob would be constantly poking up under, coming from on top, coming out of whack here. I feel no security in this. In this one section of the suit, everything else feels secure. So this was a one piece with this happening. This would have been perfect. The snake skin is really pretty. I love the nude. God, I wish I could fit this. If I could figure out a way to add a strap and tighten it, because it's not giving me support under either. just makes me mad but anyway here is the suit you know you can see the back I don't want to flash anybody but that's the back full coverage just like the suit like this would have been a moment for these bangles on one side like what you mean what you mean <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm kind of upset with this one. So we're just going to move on to the next one. Okay, you guys. So <laughs> this is probably the second, maybe this one of the two safe ones I picked out. Really cute. I like the little abstract print. Yes, it's in a safe black and gray with a hint of yellow. Um, I know it looks very safe right here. Um, it has a zipper right here really cute kind of give you that scuba girl look definitely family vacation safe unless you want to have fun and undo that zipper a little bit like if you want some boob girl do the boob like it's like hey i'm here <laughs> nothing had these my whole life <laughs> but yeah it's really a cute suit um you can go all the way down if you want keep it like that you know what i mean i think that's really nice or you could just go all the way up and be modest about it but i do like the suit what do you think full coverage in the back <laughs> but i was thinking these I'm sorry. I was thinking that suit with these. I thought that'd be cute together. A whole vibe tote bag. Uh-oh. Or to dress them up. Could have wore these with it. You know what I mean? The little yellow. So just a thought. Um, 
we got one suit left let's get into it okay you guys <laughs> this is like between this and that black one with all the boobs out this is probably my favorite um i love the colors i like the um triangle-ish situation right here it has pads in here so you know the hydra nipples um i feel like this one needs to be adjusted but anyway really cute they have this tie that you control the tying so it like nips you in if you pull it tight enough um just cute um full coverage in the back um colors popping i really just like this suit what do you guys think i think it's really cute um i have a larger chest but it's still it serves you know what i'm saying like it's it's not overly exposing you but at the same time you out there a little bit like it is safe like i could jump around or be in the water and i'm still gonna be in place and that's what i look for when it comes to like a multi-functional like some suits to me are not meant for you to be swimming in because you're going to come out with the whole wardrobe malfunction but i feel like this is um this does the trick so i like it what do you think Okay, you guys, so the next item that I have is the clothing, the, the last three are clothing items. I wanted to show you this because I'm gonna put it somewhere in the screen, but this was marketed as a dress. I love the print. Y'all know I live for a kimono. Um, I have a tube top underneath it just to sh for coverage. So this was marketed as a dress now. Notice there's no ties in the inside. There's no long strings attached. There is a little tie belt. But in real life, if this was a dress, it would not stay on because that belt would not keep it closed. It's almost like a robe in that case. But when I show you the picture, I'm like, she in. Y'all wrong for that. I thought this was a real dress dress. But the way it's cut, I think it just works out better as like a kimono. Um, and you could have it wrapped, but here's the tie. And another thing I feel like, is it just me? Or that they sew it the wrong side in? Maybe that was on purpose, don't know. Um, and there's not even, I don't even think there are loops. Oh, there are loops. There are loops for the belt. Sorry, I thought. Should have been more prepared for this part but they're loops but this is not a dress now if you want to tailor it add a string put a button inside where you can fasten it and make it a wrap dress i'm sure you could make something do what it do you know tie it up where it hangs like right there you could definitely market it as a wrap dress um I suggest wearing something underneath it or a bodycon if you're not going to do all that. You see what I'm saying? Like you can convert it to a dress. Add some heels, really cute. But in real life, yeah, this is not a dress at all. So I'm going to kind of just wear it open. And it even cascades a little on the front. So I feel like it's better as just like a regular jacket with a tie really cute i still love the print i love the little satiny we're not even satiny but like silky material i think that's a really cute look over some jeans over some slacks if you're in the office some heels it's really cute or like i said paired over a bodycon dress of sorts really pretty i love the colors i love the white and the black and a little bit of sage, the sagey, um, it's sage really, it's not even gray, but that sagey look, it's just, this is the way it should function. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, but um, yeah, it's really, really cute. Definitely gonna wear this to work when I go back because I'm on vacation, darling. Or this would be cute at the pool too, over a solid swimsuit. 
I don't think I even bought a solid swimsuit, but like, it's just cute. Or if you want to wear it as a robe at home. Okay, you guys, so this is a satin blouse. I, I know it has a pajama feel to it. That's on purpose. That's how it's supposed to look. I really like it. It's really unflattering with the light above me because it's literally me making a big shine across my chest. But, you know what I mean? It's really cute. I, no, I don't know if I would wear it just hanging like this. I have a habit of tying my shirts. But I feel like this is a tie moment. And I want to say on the site it was tied up. See, that already makes a world of difference. That is so cute. With a little heel, a hat, oh, a hat. Let's see. I have a hat for my girl Living Fearless. Y'all yeah, know I, 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 yes. 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 Okay, you guys, so I wanted a nice, robe that was cottony not satiny for like during the daytime like I'll lounge in satin robe don't get it twisted but I wanted something a little bit more casual that can take me into the fall and I thought this was super cute look at the prints it has that is it art deco Picasso-esque modern ugh um, let's see. This y'all have seen a bra before. Um, honey, this video is probably not monetized anyway because of the swimsuits. So, this is a little in the skin. So, um, the only drawback with this robe, you guys, is it feels good. And I'm going to keep it. This is like giving me all the home comfy vibes I wanted but the only drawback with this robe is there is no inner tie so if you do want that you're gonna have to create that yourself which is not as hard as people think it's literally stitching a little piece of fabric here and stitching one in the inside seam no big deal um it does have pockets which i'm like here for um and it has a belt but there are no belt loops remember i, I thought the dress it was the robe that didn't have the belt loops that's why the dress wasn't prepared correctly so but i just really like it's so comfy it's so sh it's like giving me boho vibes but it's still pulled together um throw on a little lounge set underneath and you're good to go i just I live for pieces that look nice that allow you to still lounge in the house. And I know a lot of people are back to normal as far as, you know, the panoramic, um, the whole going back to work. Everybody's not working from home anymore. So that, to me, okay, it made us appreciate being at home more now if you have to go back to work so when you're home you're like okay i want to be in this comfort zone i want to feel luxe i want to feel taken care of i want a little self-care infused and having nice pajamas and robes just really help that mood out so loving this robe y'all might see this in some videos might alternate between this one and that amazon robe even though you know that amazon robe is bae i love her she is she is it. I have a couple of them in my shopping cart of different designs. So I'm like, we need more of her. <laughs> She's gorgeous. So anyway, you have reached the end of the video. Let me know. Okay. This video, if you made it to the end and you a dude, please leave your little lusty comments to yourself. This is from a girls who just want to know what hot girl summer suits look like versus, you know, her renting at the pool. <laughs> um but yeah let me know which suit you like the best i mean you don't have to like any of them i'm just saying um i think my favorite is the colorful one at the end and i like that little spicy one with the, the shiny one with the tie from the beginning yeah it got a lot of boobs showing but it's cute <laughs> i'm sorry that is like hot girl summer i guess i don't even use that term girls trip um, but it's a we outside <laughs> we are outside in that suit 
So I think those are my two favorite out of the swimsuits. I like the satin tops. I think it's a different approach. It's a little fresh. It's chic and it's clean. Um, the dress, even though it's not a dress, she in. It's cute though. I like the little roll effect. I would definitely wear that with the tank top. And some pants. I even I'm even thinking about a wide leg pair of trousers. I haven't found the right ones because of my body shape. I'm so funny about how stuff fits. So I know you guys see a lot of tops from me, but lately that's all they've been giving. Tops. Like, I haven't found pants for my body shape. I'm a lot thicker in the middle, so things just don't lay on me the way I would like them to. But anyway, let me know what you and like. And yeah, so that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>